Here's a quick video that runs through seven ways we can minimise our impact when spending time in the bush, such as leave no trace, protecting via security, being self-reliant, respecting others, traditional owners and land managers, and finally, social media responsibility. We've all heard about the term leave no trace. Well, that came out of the States in the 90s. But here in Australia, it was the amazing folk at Tasmanian National Parks back in the 80s who came up with our very Aussie term, minimal impact bushwalking. The concepts and the principles are pretty much the same. Let me run through them for you. Number one is about leave no trace. So pretty much it is what it says on the box. It's about leaving the campsites and the places that we visit in the bush as though we were never there. Kind of like ghosting the bush. Now this is everything from food scraps, toileting, not using soaps or detergents, using maybe a fuel stove instead of a fire. And choosing to camp on durable surfaces. All those things that leave trace and evidence that we were ever somewhere. Number two, this is all about protecting the biosecurity of these incredible places that we visit. And that's really just comes down to two things. Number one, clean our boots and our gear, our tent pegs and maybe our ground sheets, that kind of thing. And then if we do see anything in the bush, some invasive species, things like that, to make sure that we report them so they can be taken care of. And by the way, you can always download this handy recipe card and a bit of an info thing on the back on my website. Number three, this is all about being self-reliant and taking responsibility for ourselves in the bush. So when you think about it, that's kind of really all the stuff that's covered by the Trek campaign, T-R-E-K. Take what you need, register your intentions, emergency beacon, and know your route and stick to it. It's also things like checking alerts like RFS, that's the local fire authority, your national parks for any closures, that kind of thing. Making sure that you're trained in first aid and you're carrying a first aid kit. And it also includes things like making sure you're choosing a walk for you and your group that you've got the skills and experience to undertake and the fitness to enjoy. Number four, this is about respecting fellow bushwalkers or hikers. Because, can you hear that? It's about respecting that wonderful sense of silence and quiet that we come into the bush for. So, you know, things like ringing mobile phones or playing music in the bush, best avoided. And the second part of that is offering assistance and helping out anyone else in the bush that you come across who might need a hand, say with an injury or if they're getting lost. Number five is all about acknowledging the traditional owners of the land which we hike, bushwalk, climb, canyon, recreate. Like here, the Gundungurra people of the Blue Mountains. This means things like not camping in caves that might have Aboriginal art, absolutely not touching or disturbing any artefacts that you might come across and definitely seeking permission if you want to enter an area that's particularly sensitive. And over all of this, in everything we do, showing absolute respect. Number six is all about respecting the land manager. So that's the person responsible for it. Could be national parks, could be state forests, could be private, all that kind of thing. So not trespassing, always leaving gates as you find them, not taking pets places you're not meant to, and keeping group sizes to what the guidelines of that particular area say. And last but not least, number seven. And it's a bit of a new one that's come out in recent years. It's all about social media responsibility. It's about thinking wisely before we hit send or share on Insta and Facey or wherever, before you share locations, before you share GPX files. Does this particular place, which might have an amazing view with a beautiful selfie, whatever it is, does it have the right infrastructure in place to care for it if a whole lot of people suddenly want to go there? So share responsibly by sending this clip around so that our wild places and adventures are the best they can be for many years to come.